person who's sitting on my lap is oh, oh, Sterling, one of the original Hot Boys. Um, back then, we didn't, like, in today's, this new generation, everything is homophobia. It's like, oh, this gay, this gay, but it's okay for someone to wear some tight pants and have their butt showing. Now we woke up this morning. Uh, we woke up this morning to a picture. Uh, I seen it on Vlad TV. Uh, Shout his, out to his, Vlad. He looked out for me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I seen it on Vlad. Where, in the way he titles it, he says, uh, "Terrence Birdman's brother, Terrence Gangster Williams, seen sitting in picture with some OGs or something of that nature." Uh huh. And I'm like, okay. And I'm looking at the picture. I'm trying to see it. And then there you go. Boom! Right there. <laughs> uh, so I want to do a dis a dissection of this. Of this photo, cause I want to know where you was at, when when that was, what the vibe was, because the picture tells a whole story in itself. But most folks won't get the story, so I want you to paint the picture of uh -huh. what this picture, who it was, like wh who was in that picture. And there was a girl in the back walking off. I don't. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying. Where's the female? Okay, there's a female in the back walking away. Paint the story of this picture of and how did it come out to the world? And do you, and do you regret the picture? Oh, yeah, we gonna get there. I want to answer that yeah, first. Okay, no, yeah. For everybody who want to know about regrets, I don't regret nothing I've done in life. Nothing. Because what I've done in life has helped me become the man I am today. Now let's get to it. The picture. Um, that picture was, I think, in 1994. Either 94 or 96, because uh, the, the person who's sitting on my lap is oh, uh, Sterling, one of the original hot boys. Um, back then, we didn't, like, in today's, this new generation, everything is homophobia. It's like, oh, this gay, this gay, but it's okay for someone to wear some tight pants and have their butt showing, sagging with the tight pants. That ain't gay, though. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but... Uh, no, that, it's funny because when you paint that picture, I could see in a room of like 100 black men or something, and one person d does that, it's like, oh, yeah, that's something. But if half the room, more than half the room is doing it, oh, it's acceptable. Yeah, it's cool. We'll yeah. Take. It's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when I God, do it. God damn. But, um, no, but actually how the picture come out, I had like a few months ago, I had posted a picture, and that when Queen Fran was like, if I was you, I'd take that picture down because that picture gonna go viral. And she said, right now, you got a lot going on right now, so you don't need it now. I was like, you know, because I'm just learning social media, I was like, yeah, all right, well, I'm take it down. Mm -hmm. So uh, a guy that I'm cool with, uh, named, uh, he has a, um, a YouTube channel called Truth Be Told. He hit me on Instagram, he was like, uh, I noticed a few, a while back you post this picture, so would it be all right if I repost it now? So at this time, you know, things kind of calming down. I was like, yeah, go ahead. And the fact that he asked you, that's... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He actually posted, and I already knew when I posted the first time, the reaction I got, people were like, whoa, what's going on? Uh -uh. So it's like, man, OG, get what's wrong? So I, I had a feeling that this was... You know, no, let me tell you what, what disappointed me a little bit. With all this uh, mayhem going on, that real life uh, street stars took this long to contact me. Okay. Because I was thinking that <laughs> I was going to kind of right away because, you know... but. Y'all still did it in a timely fashion. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. However, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you would think yeah. right when it, you would think, wake up, oh shit, call. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, but the, uh, the guy, good guy, man, uh, truth be told, he had reached out to me, asked me, can he post it? And I was like, fine, you know, because like I say, back then, you know, we didn't see nothing wrong, that we were sure of ourselves. And for everybody who want to know this, and even for the LGBT community, no, I'm not part of you guys. I do not, and we have not, me, OG Sterling, or he's deceased now. Everybody in that picture is deceased except for me and the guy that's standing up on the right side. Um, we did not indulge in homosexual activity. I do not indulge in homosexual activity right now, so don't come playing with me. Um, so y'all can crack it, Joe. Hey, y'all fun. I'm, I'm laughing with y'all with that. But uh, as far as that, uh, it's four things on this earth I'm scared of. That's God, age, crack, and penis. So do not come around me thinking because you see an old 30 something year old picture or two, whatever it is, that I'm about to indulge. It's not going to happen. That's around. So, uh, yeah, but like I said, you know, we used to have fun back then, you know. There's plenty of other pictures that's floating around with my homies in clubs doing this. But in this new generation, you have to be careful what you do. But I'm not part of the new generation. So, so explain back then, it's just, it was, you know, because y'all was gangsters. But was it just some, just some shit that y'all did that everybody understood? Yeah, you know, understood? we in the club, we had fun, like, man, come on, watch out, come on, let me get it. And it was never like a, 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 a second thought, like, oh, man, I'm gay, they fat, because everybody in the club knew who we were. And people around knew who we were. Like, prime example, 
if you look at the comments, you're not going to see no old heads from New Orleans, mm -hmm. and you're not going to see majority of people from New Orleans comment on that picture because they see that every day in our city. It's just around the world. But like I said, I appreciate it because, you know, the I, I, only thing that keeps resonating in my mind is when Birdman told me, you're going to get five minutes of fame, and then nobody else ain't going to hear your story. Oh. I got an hour. No, listen. Man, you, I've hey, been right. Hey, when you can talk, you can talk, man. But I'm curious. What was the what was the, what was that club? What, what was the name of it? What was the vibe? I I, I want to say I think that was Mr. B's because we used to go to Mr. B's that was not too far from the Magnolia Project. I think it looked like Mr. B. Like the, I think they said it might have said Mr. B's in the back or something like that. Oh, see, I, man, listen, we used to go to so many, but I've never in my life drank alcohol. I never smoked weed. I never done any kind of hard drugs, or anything. So uh, I should be able to remember that. So I want to say it was Mr. B's. I don't think it was downtown downtown and club rumors. Mm. But it had to be Mr. B's that was uptown. Well, like you said, there's we we used to hey that brotherhood. Well, nobody gonna test us. And we no, just have, we just having fun, and it just yeah. is what it was. Listen, like, you think y'all was just too gangster for y'all own good to not see? It's like nah, you this might be pick, like now. Listen, let me tell you something. Now, when I look at the picture now, you like I was out of line. No, no, listen, not that part. Let me tell you the part where I was like, I see a lot of people right when he sat on my lap with my had my hand on his thigh. I say, whoa. I said, your, your, your legs was kind of twisted to the oh, side. Like, I'm telling you, if it was a paid in full movie, oh, it would have been like, what? Yo, but bro. You, know, you know, we talk <laughs> about like what is deemed homosexuality and things of that nature. But I feel like when a man is your brother and y'all have a brotherhood and y'all have a relationship, like, like for instance, I've had homeboys, we'd be riding in the car together. We was probably four or five deep, a nigga fall asleep on your shoulder. You don't be like, hey, get up, get the fuck off. You let your brother sleep on your shoulder because that's your brother. And that's how I, like, I seen pictures y'all, y'all just, y'all sit, you sitting on his lap, right? No, he's sitting on my lap. Oh, he's sitting on my lap. So yeah. it's like, that's your brother. That's somebody who you had a kinship with. Mm -hmm. So it would be like letting your brother sit on your lap. You wouldn't tell your brother get up. But you know, now, you know, let me say this here. Now, I can see if he was sitting in the middle of my lap. Yeah. But he was on the edge. But like I say, I, uh, I am inclined. Yeah. To have some understanding for this new generation. Like, a lot of people have grown to like me. Right. Because I'm one, of, if not the only one, one of the only ones um, that started a YouTube channel what, in May and have 70,000 subscribers. It's hard to get that many subscribers mm -hmm. that fast. Right. So, um, I understand the new generation. It's like, man, we respect you. We got love for you. OG Giggity. And we see this. What's up with you? You, you, you on the download? Woo -woo. No, y'all. I do no, not but mess see, around. But these would be the same young niggas. They get, you get in the room with them. You get in the room with them niggas and they be like, yeah, this is my bitch right here, man. Yeah, you know, I love this bitch. <laughs> and we just all like old niggas because I be like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. just kind of, it's like you trade one odd behavior for another. Yeah, well, like I say, in, in today's time, the new generation is running things. So sometimes... If you really want to be a part of the social media or be a part of this stuff, you got to kind of bend to their rules. But, you know, since I've been home, I've been breaking the rules. Talk to you me. know, I, I well, cause see, this thing, like I tell people, I run by myself. If you don't see me with Queen Frank, I'm going to be by myself. So I don't buy friendship. It's too expensive. Um, actually, thank everybody because I, I had the shirt made and I had the T.O. wrong. I had to put two O's on there. Oh, damn, they saw. Oh, they, so be, they, on, they be, be on your yeah, they be on me. Oh, they be watching. Yeah, they giggity you got to so, so I went and got my shirt fixed. But uh, yeah, I don't buy friends that are too expensive. So I don't, I don't, I don't care uh, what people say about me, but I do care if I can get away with that. Meaning like, I'm going to do what I want to do. And then when people say it, I just have to deal with the consequence because I'm not a rapper. I'm not a celebrity. So nobody can't blackmail me for nothing. I run my own uh, YouTube channel. I have my own uh, Cap and Cap podcast where Queen Friends and I share it together. Yeah. I got my nine private organization. I'm the boss of everything. So I don't have to answer to no one. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.